Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. This is Sue Taylor. You know, I love poetry. Poetry that tells a story and lifts the spirit. It can revive the soul and give hope to the dying and discouraged and to the depressed. Fanny Crosby, the great hymn writer, wrote her first poem at the age of eight years old. And there's another lady that I'd love to read her poems. You know, and one such poem is, Where there is a will, there is a way. And it is written by Eliza Cook. I don't know much about this woman, but I can tell you by the poetry that she wrote that she knew God and she knew how to keep the faith. There are six stanzas or verses to her poem where there's a will, there's a way. And in each verse, it tells a story of hope, faith and determination. I want you to listen to the first verse or stanza of this beautiful poem. We have faith in old proverbs full surely, for wisdom has traced what they tell, and truth may be drawn up as purely from them as it may from a well. Let us question the thinkers and doers and hear what they honestly say, and you'll find they believe like bold wooers, and where there's a will, there's a way. You know, she urges us in this first verse in her poem where there's a will, there is a way. She urges us uh, to believe in old Proverbs, the Bible, the word of God that contains the truth. I believe she is talking about the word of God, for only the word of God is pure. And then she urges us to question the thinkers and the doers. In other words, get counsel and con and conversation with those and from those who know and do what is right. Now, in verse two of this great poem, she shows us the determination and the hard work done by men and women of faith. She goes on and says, the hills have been high for man's mounting. And the woods have been dense for his axe. The stars have been thick for his counting. And the sands have been wide for his tracks. The sea has been deep for his diving. And the poles have been broad for his sway. But bravely he's proved in his striving that where there's a will, there's a way. I love this determination coupled with the will of God for our lives will pave the way for many things to happen in our life. In verse three, she shows us the sin and the and the problem of sin. In verse five, she will show us how to win. So in first uh, in the stanza number three of this poem where there's a will, there's a way. She says, have ye vices that ask a destroyer or passions that need your control? Let reason become your employer and your body be ruled by your soul. Fight on, though ye bleed in the trial. Resist with all strength that ye may. Ye may conquer sin's host by denial. For where there is a will, there is a way. I love that. I love the fact that our body can be ruled by our soul. And she tells us in this that we need to fight on. You know, no matter how bad the battle rages sometimes, it says resist with all strength that you may. Because when you say no long enough to, to sin, beloved, believe me, you will conquer it. And then she shows us definitely in verse five, uh, it gives us hope in the midst of the suffering when we want to quit, when we want to give up. She says, have you poverty's pinching to cope with? Does suffering weigh down your might? Only call up a spirit to hope with 
and dawn may come out of the night. Oh, much may be done by defying the ghosts of despair and dismay, and much may be gained by relying on where there's a will, there's a way. What a beautiful thing to know that when we place our will in the way, which is Jesus Christ, we are going to win. Lastly, in her last verse of this great poem entitled, Where There is a Will, There's a Way, she gives us vision and motivation, and most of all shows us that with faith, nothing is impossible. Should you see afar off that worth winning, set out on the journey with trust, and ne'er heed if your path at beginning should be among brambles and dust. Though it is but by footsteps ye do it, and hardships may hinder and stay, walk with faith and be sure you'll get through it, for where there's a will, there is a way. Praise God that when we walk in God's will, He will always make a way, and that, beloved, is faith to live by. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, Contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636. If you live within the broadcast area of KNEO Radio, we have a podcast just for you. The KNEO Community Connection keeps your finger on the pulse of what's coming up in the four-state area, telling you about upcoming events you don't want to miss, organizations in our communities doing great work, and conversations with the dynamic citizens who are behind it all. There's a lot going on around you that you don't want to miss. This is Luke Taylor. Join me each week as we talk about what's happening with the people who are making it happen. Brought to you by KNEO Radio 91.7 FM and the Sky High Podcast Network. Subscribe today wherever you get your podcasts.